Look, I'm vlogging. Oh, cool, there's a train going by. <laughs> around Northgate going to get some smoothies trying to avoid raindrops good vlogging skills should I get matching?
really loud again. I don't know how well you can hear this, but yeah, this was a fun day. We don't usually go off, go off, go out on Saturdays. He's usually not off work and I just am usually like make plans to do things around the house on Saturdays. So this was really nice. Everywhere was a little bit busy, but that's okay. I feel like if you're in a college town, you kind of have to just deal with and experience the college town life a little bit. Video selfie. Good day. Yeah. hard work while I just stand around. It's a better shot of the exciting new prospects. So it's the next morning. I'm finally ready to paint the dresser. It is very stormy and cloudy and dark outside today so it's a really good day to have an indoor project to do. Um, so I can finally show you this is what I'm working with. It's a really good size. It was kind of hard for me to find something this tall because I have two dressers already that are both short. So I am trying to replace one with something taller to free up some closet space. So I had to, I think I looked at like five different stores before I finally found something. It's it's a little beat up. The drawers kind of do this, so I think later on, if necessary, I might have to um, put some more spacer bars in there to keep it from wobbling. But for now, um, I found this gallon of mismatched paint. I don't know how well you can see that like gray color. Uh, this was on sale for nine bucks, so. I just decided to go for it, even though I'm not 100% sure if that's the tone of gray I was looking for. Um, then I got this kind of... Are we going to be able to see the color at all? There, that's a little better. This kind of sage color, coastal sage, that I'm going to spray the drawers with, and then I'm going to keep the knobs, so I'll have to remove those first. My setup in here is pretty basic. We're in the kitchen. Normally what I would do, wow, I just can't escape that glare, can I? Is <laughs> a little better. Uh, normally what I do as far as drop cloth is for smaller projects, I have a drop cloth that I use when I paint. Usually a trick I like to do, if you don't have space to store a drop cloth or a tarp, um, or if you need something that's just really temporary, is I go to the dollar store and I buy shower curtain liners, and that's what I use as a drop cloth. If you get the clear ones, that fabric, the fabric, the plastic, is a little bit thicker than the patterned ones, so they won't just like tear immediately. But that's a really easy solution if you need something quick and disposable, or if you don't have room to store a permanent drop cloth. But like I said, it's just it's just crazy stormy mess today, and I don't really feel like going out. So I have cut apart trash bags for this, but that'll work fine. Also, uh, normally when you're doing, oh maybe I just realized I think I put the drawers back in here in the wrong. There's like gaps and stuff, so maybe they won't wobble so bad if I can figure out the right order later. Okay, maybe I'll be able to fix that easier than I thought. Um, but when you're painting inside or at all, you should always be wearing um, a respirator or a mask. I have misplaced my mask, but I do have a couple of fans that I'm going to turn on and the windows open. So I'll at least have proper ventilation. And when I spray paint the drawers, I'm going to take them outside, I guess, if I can get some. That was weird. My phone just stopped recording without my pushing a button. Okay, well, um, I'm gonna get started on this and hopefully it turns out the way I like. It's 
yay! Uh, I was kind of skeptical about this gray color since it was a mist tint paint. But it came out this like really nice kind of like concrete gray color. There's still, oh, I might need to touch up this spot. There's still a little bit of like dings and scuffs on it, but I didn't want to sand all of that off because I really like that texture on the drawers. Yeah. yeah, so overall I am super excited with how this came out. I think it just fits my style a little bit more. Finally have some more space. I have had the same dresser set for at least 20 years. Uh, so I'm keeping the one. This is going to replace one of them so that I, we have a little bit more space. Um, but I just, I've wanted to get a new dresser or redo a dresser for a really long time. The one I'm going to keep, I will probably redo maybe in like a similar color scheme or choose one of these colors to tie in. I'm not really sure. I'll probably wait a little bit before I deal with that. So now all that's left to do is haul this upstairs and fill it and then reorganize all the closets in the house. So uh, I probably will not film that because I think this has gone on long enough and that's going to be a big enough process without having to try to film all of that. So I hope you enjoyed watching me redo this dresser and a random vlog trip to the mall. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.